Hey everyone, um, we're out here today. I'm just gonna be giving you a quick rundown on how we go about uh, skim casting some little soft plastics in tight to structure for fish such as Aussie bass, mangrove jack, anything that kind of sits in nice and tight to fallen down timber, jetties, pontoons, things like that. Um, so what you wanna do is, it's quite easy on a spinning combo. Bait casting's a little bit different. You gotta get your settings correct so that you don't have any overspool, which would be pretty much just a pain to, to deal with. But with these Aussie bass, we have just a nice light 1/8 uh, jig head on there with a 2.5 inch plastic. And see over here how we've got the overhanging branches and then some snags in tight to the bank underneath. You wouldn't be able to reach that with your conventional sort of lob overhead cast. So skimming is the perfect technique to get in nice and tight to the structure, like this big fallen tree. I can almost guarantee, before we disturbed it earlier, um, that there could have been a bass sitting nice and tight to that. Nice. And this is my personal favorite way to chase these bass in these tight creeks in the snags because the hits you get are just vicious and it's the feeling of satisfaction you get from doing a great cast, nice and tight to a snag, just rolling it out and then getting crunched by a little bass is awesome. But anyway, I'll give you a little demonstration of how we go about this skim. So you kind of want to visualize where you're expecting the plastic to land and then it's one smooth movement down nice and low, kind of level with the water, almost like you're skimming a stone. But in this case, the stone is your plastic. So this is what it looks like. See, nice and tight to the bank. So if you're out there giving this technique a red hot crack and you're still struggling, there's a couple little pointers I can help you along the way with. So you wanna make sure that your rod tip's nice and low to the water as you're going through. You want your lure almost dragging along the surface and you want to release it when you get towards the end of your casting arc so that it propels it forward, not out to the side or out in a random direction. The best way to learn this technique is to just go out there and practice. And remember, if you're getting snagged, you're just a little too accurate. 